how can a mother that got married at the age of 15, 16, now hinders her own daughter from getting married at, in her 30s, in her late 30s, in her 40s? How? I can't seem to understand. At that age of mama, mama has already stopped bearing. She's not taking care of her own children. So how can you now stop your own daughter from getting married at the age of 30, in her mid-30s, her late 30s, all because you want her to continue to pump money? Because you know that place that she's using to pump money, if she dedicates that place to just one man, that just the way God have designed it to be, there's going to be short of money in the family. So, the ones that are in school, can, they can no longer finish their school. So, because of that, you have encouraged her continue to use that place that's supposed to be for just one man alone. Use it to serve all the white men in that country where you are. Use it to serve anybody at all, provided they can give you money. Mama, this is why I do say, I do tell people, this is not poverty mentality. This is wickedness. It's wickedness in the high places. And you know, your daughter has a limited time. She's like a flower. She can go off at any time. Why hindering your own daughter? This is why I'm making this campaign. Things need to change. This need to stop. This is not poverty. This is wickedness. Before this era, people have been living in poverty. But it has not got into this. That a mother will just close her eyes and see her own daughter wasting. And you are watching just because she's bringing money for you. And you are there lavishing the money. No, you must not get married. These your three brothers, you need to take them abroad. These your younger ones, they need to finish their school. This one needs to be established in business. And this house needs to be built. This is the old house now of your father. You need to build a new one. Don't you see how others that are traveling abroad, don't you see how they are changing, you know, building houses? You must do all this before I will let you settle down. Hey! Just that one body, that place that God have given to her for her husband. You have made it, Mama. You have encouraged her to make it a public cake. Anybody can eat. Whether drunkards, whether people that are insane, whether anyone at all, provided they can give her money and you encourage her, defy your, your body. It doesn't matter. Mama, in your own time, nobody did this to you, Mama. Let's, add, let's start addressing these mothers. That does not look at the destiny of their own children to be anything. That want to trade their children for anything at all. Sisters, please men and women, let's start. It's becoming too much. Come and hear stories. You will know what people are passing through. May God help us. We need a deliverance and we need it now.